when I started the business six years ago, almost, was I basically started it because I was posting the, what I was making in chef school for that entire year mm. on my Instagram account. So it was born off the back of content okay. creation. And the reason I, well, one of the big things that happened was I was documenting this process. And for me, I truly love creating something and, but creating content mm. around it. For me, it wasn't about the actual subject that I was making. It was about the end result, mm. which was the content. But I started getting requests for the stuff mm. that was in the content, you know? So I was just like, okay, well, if people want what I'm making and I can create content around it, then surely yeah. it's a win-win mm. situation, you know? And it was it's a little bit of a chicken mm. and an egg situation. So cake just happens to have been there yeah. at that point in time and i think that i also found it was a very interesting medium for me to take my love for design and creation from a digital space which i've been working on all the time photography web design just design in general and then put mm -hmm. it into a physical space so it's kind of like i don't know it's a very it's, it's quite a complex thing but I yeah I don't know if that answers your question Definitely. but it, yeah it's, it's a very weird one but for me like I love creating I, I've loved the process yeah. of creating mm -hmm. a brand and I am just so happy that the brand that I've created can make other people happy mm. through the actual yeah. product so yeah. it ticks quite a few boxes <laughs> not just for me um and I I don't want to make an assumption, you know, with all my business expertise, but you could almost reflect and think maybe that's what contributed to making it such a successful business and helping you where you are now. Firstly, because you weren't product pushing, if I had to use that term, as opposed to rather focusing on the overall experience that you're selling and what what are all the facets of that brand instead of just focusing solemnly on the product. And a question I, I want to ask is, you know, obviously you're passionate about cakes, but do you feel that because it didn't start from this extreme love for baking and cake making, that it kind of allowed you to step a little bit back away from the product to focus on the brand more as opposed to mm. someone who's just, you know, so in love with the product when mm. they start a business. Mm. Definitely. I, um, I think that that has certainly happened in this case. Um, I feel like if I was more obsessed with mm. the cake itself, I wouldn't have been able to have that kind of bird's eye view of how I yeah. can take this business and turn it into something that, I mean, we're at that stage now where we are, we've got a global following, you know, like it's, I've been able to, along with my team, create this brand that is like, mm. it's really strong. And I think that that is just because it's a collaboration of everyone's ideas and strengths. I am not the person that is going to be able to perfectly pipe a cake for you. Like, I would love to be that person. I want to be able to do all of it, but I can't be everything for my business. So it's also understanding that my passion is to build a brand, build a narrative around it, build this lifestyle around it, and then getting the right people in place to help me kind of realize this dream. And I do think that um, it was actually a conversation that I had with somebody last week. They, they said to me that, and not to, like in a derogatory kind of way, but they were like, basically, if somebody has to take your business, take your brand, they can re reverse engineer the operations of your, of your business, but they cannot, like you can't just, Mm -hmm. make another sweet lion heart you know like that is six years of like 
consideration around yeah. mm-hmm. a feeling that we're trying to create in this brand where what we're doing there's amazing people in Cape Town there's amazing people in South Africa around the world that do cake but we've been able to create a brand a around story. it and yeah. I mean there's a, there's a story yeah. around it exactly um, so I think that there are so many people on this planet that make cake so much better than what we do but we've just been able to package it in this little neat box mm-hmm. with a little bow you know so which I'm really I'm very grateful for because it's yeah it's been an amazing experience to be able to actually take this thing and grow it into something that people yeah. love as well